Right, number plates. You've got your old car, you've got your new car. You want to take your number plate off your old car and put it on your new car. We're going to show you how to do that now. Right, so you've seen the cars outside and we need to transfer the number plate. We're in the office, we've got the internet up and we are going to go through how to do this. But just before we start, right, we've actually got three things here and I've laid them out in like a time sequence. So when we bought our first Tesla originally, this was the number plate it was assigned with. Okay, so that's our original number plates. And we took those off and we put on this UCO2 bad number plate because we thought that was banter. We thought that was funny, right? If you're driving a Tesla. Um, right, so that is the current number plate. Now this is our new car. And what we want to do is we want to transfer this number plate onto our new car. And what's actually going to happen is we're going to transfer this off our old car and our old car will then get assigned its original plates. That's why we kept them when we transferred it off. This number plate is going to go onto my new car. So that'll be my new car. And this number plate will go back into the ether. We'll have no certificate, but the DVLA will keep that in their sort of, in their reserves. And that will come back onto our new car when we sell it and we take that one off again. So right, so that's what we've got. That's what we're going to do. So join me here. You're going to get all my personal information here. So right. So we're gonna go transfer registration and we're gonna trust Google because it's good and it's gonna show us private number plates, gov.uk. That looks, don't go to no dodgy websites now. Well, that, we accept all the cookies, Tyler. We trust the government, we, we the government don't we? I love the government cookies. Well, we ain't anti-vaxxers or anything like that, are we? Right, so overview, right? So when you take it to transfer, right, you need to take it off the vehicle you're transferring it from and then assign it to the vehicle you're transferring it to, right? You can do this at the post office, but we don't need to do that. We're going to do it all online, right? So take off the vehicle, all right? Where's it taking us now, Tyler? Is that looking all right on the camera? Yeah. We can do it on, this is eligible. We've got to be MOT'd and tax, right? Take the number plate off, right? The registration of the number plate you want to take off, right? So this is the one we're taking off our old car, the one we want to keep. UCO2, make sure you get it right, because it's zero 02. BAD, BAD, right, the latest V5 certificate reference number, right, and I believe it is this reference number here, so let's try it, 03666810917, right, okay, and it's a little helpful there, right, it goes, ba ba ba. right, your postcode, right, and that is going to be the postcode that you've got here, so there we go, GL7, it's a business address. Yes, it is fine. I wouldn't do. Right. I am. Right. Are you the registered keeper? Well, I sort of am, but it is a business. So no, I'm a business and have consent on their behalf. There we go. Right. Right then. So contact name. Name of the person doing the transaction. There we go. You can all know my name. I'll be famous. Look, Tyler. Right. And contact email address. I really shouldn't show you this, should I? Right. Next. Right, confirm. So here we go. So this is the registration number and make sure you've got the right car. So it's coming off our Tesla. Right, confirm your business details. Confirm. That's all good. Right, confirm the keeper details. So that is, so it's just reiterating what we've already done. Is this correct? Yes. After making this, the deep, right, hold on. Yes. Do, does your customer want to receive the email? No, because I am the customer. Right. All right, there we go, right. After making a payment, DVLA records will update immediately, right. Pay by debit card, oh, this is what everyone wants, isn't it? So it's gonna cost you 80 pounds to transfer this off. Now, that 80 pounds, I believe, is all we need to pay. That will cover the off and the on because the certificate it goes on to then goes on, right. So there we go, so I've got to enter my name, bear with us, right. With a bit of blue tack concealing my details, we're good at this, Tyler, right, and pay now. Right, application is successful, right? So it can now be taken off. Now, does it gonna tell me now what the original one was it says? So it says, we strongly advise you to keep a certificate number. You'll need this to make up the replacement plates. So if we click here, we'll get a, we should be able to download a certificate that comes down the bottom on your browser here. Click on that. And this is our new thing. So hopefully i'm hoping it has that come back with my yes so that has come back with our original plates there you go 
do do do. So if you print, if you didn't keep your original plates or you got the car with a plate and you don't know, you will have to print this and take it to your local car accessory shop, your Halfords or whatever. And with this certificate, they will make you up your new plates. Right, you can now put UCO2 bad onto another vehicle, right? Put a registration onto a vehicle. There we go. So here we go. So this is it. We're all, we're rocking and rolling here. Right, personalized number plates. And what we need to do now is transfer it onto a new vehicle. Now, right, so let's, let's, here we go. Da, 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 eligibility, assign, right, assign a number. Assign a number online, right? So we apply online. Let's assign a line. Okay, please enter the registration number below. UCO2 bad. Right, are you the grant or purchase of the registration? Right, your details, current vehicle registration number. So this now, so this now is the car well, that we want to put it onto. So let's enter the current registration number is WP71NWT, right? Right, and enter the V5 document. So that's this number again, this number here. 1354 one five three eight right okay and then that all looks good and the postcode again gl seven five xl right next right confirm your business details right are they all correct yes confirm right so you then get to this page here okay so that's saying the certificate and what it's asking for is the retention certificate um now when you get an email, you will say, you will get an email confirm, confirming it, and it's got our retention certificate number here on the email. So we can put this in here, right, put that down. And so it's in blocks, so we need to put one here, and oh, that automatically get, and we just need to make sure it matches there. Two, two, 007, look at that, James Bond in there, look. Right then, and then one, six, two, four two one and then obviously it's got that u c zero two watch you don't put an o there b a d right so there we go so you should put something like that and it's going to want to know your postcode again it loves your postcode title of this program right and gl75 xl all right next let's have a look confirm the keeper information it is us, it is there. Yeah, don't go giving it to someone else. Someone else will have your car. I confirm that the grantee's given me permission. Do you want do you want your customer to receive an email? No. Right then. So it's gonna say, so exist your personalized registration number is now being placed on the vehicle below, right? And that is correct, isn't it, Tyler? There we go. Right, and the DVLA records will update immediately. Confirm. Right, so there you go. So now it can be put on the vehicle, okay? So it says your current tax and MOT. So you don't, someone did ask this, do you need to get your MOT reprinted or anything? You need to do absolutely nothing because it's all electronic these days. So that's all done for us. Yeah, um, right, what to do next? If, your number, if you have the number plate, put them on the ready. If you need new number plates, you have to download this form again. So you can click on this one here like we did before. It will go into your downloads. You can open it, and then this is your certificate that you can take to your Halfords or whatever to make up your new number plate. There we go. We're all done. It was painless. Mark's had 10, Tyler? Nine. Nine. Well done, UK government. Good luck with that.